G'day and welcome back to CS38 Racing and this is episode 2 of MotoGP Career Mode. So we had our test last time out. It looks like Ducati's development has gone well. Based on what we've seen, it looks like they're going to have a good season. Well, that's a pretty um, average response at this stage in GP's development. So let's go and do a little bit of rider customization. So we have got a number. We're going to go with a red. Sort of keeping that nice and stock standard there. And I think this is sort of what we're going to run for the season. We have got a couple of helmet options. We've either got this sort of design. Or this design. Which I'm liking this design a bit more, so I'm going to go with that. Go. Let's check our riding style. Let's keep it as balanced. So, that was the test. We've developed some more with the engine and some more of the aerodynamics. Actually, that's what I want to check. How does bike development work? That seems to be it for the moment. We are... I find it hard to believe that we're behind Honda. Honda's development is not too great at all. Okay. Oh, I did want to... Oh, where do I adjust the... Did this last time. I want to adjust the race. Race settings. Let's put 11 laps as the variable, so we have a six lap sprint. Do full weekend because we need the practice regardless. All right, so we'll see you guys down in qualifying. I would be presuming it would be the trying to get through to the top qualifying but let's see what we can do okay it is our first qualifying in gp we're sitting we're not we're not going too quick i don't know if we're going to get through here but we're not dead last either um but we are the slowest aprilia at this stage Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go with a medium front and a soft rear. The rider make So we've been finding it tough to find some pace in the practice sessions. Let's see if we can find anything here. Maybe braked a little early there. Drop down a bit too quickly a gear there.
can be a bit tricky to get yourself acquainted with these bikes. We lost the front there. We're on for definite improvement. Got on that wide line there. Just gonna lose us time.
Let's return to the pit. Where with shots from pit. Got enough soft tires. So we're gonna go out with the soft soft. See if we can improve this time at all. going to come across the line for any improvement here. Do manage to make some improvement. Being in for a quite a significant improvement here. Yeah, we managed to get ourselves into that top spot with seven seconds to go. is going to end our lap time here. 
that running wide. That Ooh, concludes the first crash official there. MotoGP qualifying practice. You can so see astonishingly, the we've actually made it through uh, to the next qualifying. So that's pretty good for our first uh, MotoGP round. We're ahead of Guevara, the other rookie in the championship, and we are in front of Miguel Oliveira. Now we're down here for the second qualifying session. Uh, let's see if we can improve on our time at all there. I think we just go out on the same tyres, keep using the momentum we had, see if we can improve it all. Deep there. That's alright, return to the pit. Check if the bike's okay, the bike's okay. Let's go back up. I have no idea what our qualifying objective is, but I think this is pretty good for our first run.
bit wide there, so that's compromised our run on this one. I'd be really happy with uh, ninth place for our first race. I think that would be a really good starting point. Really concentrating here to try and get an improvement on our time. See if this is going to bring any improvement. Let's return to the pit. The second MotoGP oh, no, okay. Session we run out of time there. Here. But we finish in 11th. On the screen corresponds to riders starting position on the grid. And I think 11th is pretty darn good considering it's our first race. So let's see what we could do in the sprint. Okay, we're down here for our first sprint race so let's see what we can do first up we're gonna change tires we're gonna run a soft soft I think that's pretty much the only option that's worth considering here uh, considering it's Still a bit of a shorter race away. A bit nerve-wracking into turn one. Uh, 
Let's just take it easy. Hunted by who was that? Digi. Wasn't expecting to be in this position at this stage. I think the AI are going to take a few races to get used to our pace. Deep there, we're deep. So we're looking to keep ourselves in a pretty good position here. Just looking to stay consistent, get some experience. do anything too crazy or like that Digi came flying out of that penalty loop
Oh, Digi's making a strong move there on Marquez. I thought that was more Bedelli. See who it was that fell down there. Is that that's gone down? That may have been Vinales. deep there. So a few mistakes on that lap have dropped us a little bit, but we've still got quite a hefty gap. Because it's crashed there. So that has gifted us a top five on the last lap. We're just going to try and take this easy. try and bring home some solid points from this sprint race. A little bit deep. So there we go, we've managed to place in the top five for our first 
sprint race here, pretty exciting. As the riders return to the pits, let's take a look at the final results of this race. Quite astonished that we managed to get fifth there. Um, we're running a similar pace to Marquez, in fact the same pace as Marquez. Uh, I do know that the AI are going to take a little bit to catch up to because it's on uh, simulating uh, what we can do. It'll take a little bit for it to catch up with us but we were on a faster pace than Miguel over the sprint race so hopefully we can get a similar position in the full length race as well. Okay so we're down here for the full length race so it's going to be 11 laps so we've got a little bit more to think about this time round but we're gonna run a soft soft it's pretty much the only option we can run. Alasia Spargro starts from pole position behind him everything's ready for another great race The cameras take us to the starting grid. Okay, so we're down here for the race, the full length race. Uh, well, not full length, sorry, 11 laps. That's what we're going to do. So we've upped it a little bit from Moto 2. We've got to run a soft, soft configuration, Exciting pretty life. much what all we can do here in the colder night race. And we're off. down to power mode 2 as well so we can conserve some fuel yep the inside of digi there deep into to the last turn. We get better maneuverability there. But Marquez takes a dive back down the inside. Going to undercut. Marquez is still on the inside there, but we've managed to hold the position just around the outside. That may have been Maverick running wide at the front there. Marquez coming back on the inside. A bit 
bit wide there. Benyairo ahead of us here, and Fabio Quattararo. Carry a tighter line there than Fabio. This bugger is absolutely flying with the KTM out the front. Alex Marquez and Martina having a fantastic battle here. And while they're battling, it's bringing us straight back into it. We've got the slipstream here of Alex Marquez. We've made a move, we're up onto the podium.
He had to slam on the brakes there because Martin moved back across the front. So definitely the AI has to get used to our speed. from Martin there. I'd like to know if Martin got a penalty for that. side of got Pecco ahead of us got stuck out wide there on the Aprilia here. The Aprilia duo here. We've been able to make overtake both Aprilias in the one corner. Astonishingly,
But I don't know if Martin got the penalty there or not. I do think there would have been justification in him getting a penalty. Marquez has had a crash here, and so has Martin. So Poetic Justice might come back and help us here. down to Alicia Spargo here. He's absolutely flogging the field. deep here. I think it might have been Rins that has gone down. Just got one lap to go.
13's crashed out. Martin's remounted, so he must have had enough of a gap. I know that the AI's got to catch up, but... We still had to use that pace to get where we needed to get to, and we've managed to do it second overall. So we managed to do it there, we're in second place. We had a lot quicker pace than the rest of the field, but that's going to change as we get into the uh, rest of the season and the AI catch up with the pace that we have and adjust to the pace that we have. Alicia Spargo, 151.077. We were not keeping ourselves anywhere close to that. Uh, so that is interesting to see. Where did Miguel Oliveira? Miguel Oliveira DNF'd. So the bottom placed Aprilia was Maverick Vinales in ninth. So that puts us second in the Riders Championship. We're fourth in the Teams Championship and second in the Constructors Championship. So if you like that one, give it a massive thumbs up, give it a subscribe and hit that bell notification because I am pretty impressed with our first race here. Uh, it's pretty important for the team to see that this is the sort of uh, pace that we want to hold going into the rest of the season and hopefully, you know, get ourselves a championship in GP. I'm aiming for a top five in the first season. Uh, let's see if we can make that a reality. Here we are back live with the podium where Espargo so we also is get the, the view from the top step with the mechanics, podium celebrations fans, as well. The twists and turns of this great circuit and above all there we the go. second the for us. Sights at the end of a brilliant race. There we go. Team's rising star. There we go. We got top rider. Achievement. Finish at least 15th in the race, finish at least 15th in the sprint. We've managed to do that. The race at the sale went well. We kept C racing behind us, which was our objective. We have to continue like this. All right. So that rounds it out for this one. We're going to Portugal in the next round. So that is the home round for our teammate. Um, and let's see if we can continue that kind of form here overall. Uh, make sure to give this a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and don't miss a single episode here at the channel. All right, that's it rounds it out for this one. Stay safe, have fun, live life, and stay happy. Bye for now.